Hey guys, what's up? It is Lindy from Knife Modders. Welcome back to our new anodizing series. Uh, so in my last video, we talked about everything you need to get started, like anodizing 101. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here, or I'll put it, or and I'll put it down in the description box below. That way you can watch it and catch up or get up to speed about what we're talking about today. So now that you know the basics and you know how to anodize, let's talk about how different finishes on titanium affect the colors that you get. So I have some pair of three scales here and I'm, oof, so this is what the plan is. Hopefully this goes according to plan. I don't know. You're going to come along with me while we figure this out. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to polish. I'm going to do sections. I'm going to use this masking tape to mask off different section, sections. So we're going to do satin, polished, bead blast, glass black. What I also want to touch on later in the video is like what to do if you mess up, right? If you mess up anodizing, how do you remove it so you can start over? And just ultimately how to fix a botch job or just to get rid of it if you don't want the anno anymore on your titanium. All right, so I'm gonna start working on this and I'll cue a time lapse. Semi polish, it's not the best polish in the world, but this is gonna do for, I mean, just for the sake of this video, I'm not trying to do perfect polish, but it's polished enough. There's still grind lines and stuff, but relative to the satin and the bead blast and the crushed glass, it's gonna look pretty polished. All right, so now I gotta go suction this off and I'm gonna go blast it. All right, so both of them are exactly the same. We've got satin, polished, B for bead blast, and G for crushed glass, glass blast. Technically, Bead blasting is glass, but the media is completely different. So, this is gonna be like a dark blast, okay? And this is gonna be like a standard Kaiser bead blast. Then under here, this is a rough polish. This isn't like a pure polish, but relative to the others, it is very polished. And this is gonna be our satin. So, and then I did the same to the other one. So I'm, uh, compressor is on. I'm gonna go start blasting. All right, hey, so we are at the anodizing station. So quick recap, if you haven't watched the other video, have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't know why you'd be watching this if you didn't, but um, so we have our power supply, we have our electrolyte solution. Our power supply has two wires, a negative and a positive. The negative wire is connected to the foil, uh, which is gonna act as our cathode. We have our electrolyte solution made with baking soda. Our positive wire is going to be connected to our titanium wire, which is going to have our titanium scale, our para 3 scale on it. So, all right, so we have our scale here. I want to just show you guys. So, glass blast, bead blast, polished, and satin. Mind you, this is a really crappy uh, polish, but you guys get the gist. Okay, we're going to start with a kind of darker bronze. All right, so. Submerging it into the bath. Now we wait. We are going to keep our eye on the wattage here. Okay, so it is done. Uh, the compressor just turned on, so you guys missed a little bit. <laughs> so I panicked and I had to turn it off. Okay, so can you focus please? And I'm sure you can already see what's happening here. Okay, so. Here's our satin, our polish, our bead blast, and our glass blast. This is all the same voltage. The glass blast comes out a lot darker than the bead blast, than the polish, than the satin. The polish is obviously the most vibrant. Okay. I'm gonna go grab the other piece, I've already washed it, and we'll go up to higher voltages. I'm sure you guys get the gist of what's gonna happen here, but I might as well just show you once it's etched and we'll anodize it. All right, so we are gonna freshly clean, extremely clean, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna go directly into the etchant and let it sit for two to two and a half minutes. All right, all right, so I'm gonna turn on our power supply. It has been two minutes. We're gonna, let's just go ahead, take it out. We're gonna clip it on here. I'm gonna go ahead and just submerge this into the bath to neutralize the acid. 
I have it at 31 volts, which is fine. That helps keep it from oxidizing, like I said in the last video. So, it is anodizing right now. Let's do, hmm, where's the anodizing chart? I like that fusion color. So we're gonna go up to 67 volts. That should be good. Awesome possum. All right. I'll give you guys a little preview of what it looks like fresh out of the bath. Okay. Holy crap. This is so pretty. Oh my God. All right. Sorry, I got excited. Look how beautiful this is. So, glass blast, bead blast, polished, satin. Let's talk about, well, sh what if you mess this up? What if something happens, it wasn't completely clean, or maybe you just wanna strip it because you wanna anodize it a different color or something like that. What do you do? So, you, this is, you're gonna need wink rusting stain remover or multi-inch, either or. Um, and if you don't have it, I'll link it down below. It is available on Amazon. Also, side note, we are a part of the Amazon affiliate program. So if you use our links, we do get a small kickback. It's a nice way to support the channel, but you don't have to, but it'll be there for you if you wanna buy it. So we are using multi-edge, but the concept is the same. You are going to submerge your piece into the etchant and let it sit until the anno is completely gone. Or if you have access to a buffing wheel, okay, you can buff it off, right? Or if you have access to a belt sander, you can just grind it off. Or if you have access to a compressor and a blast cabinet, you could bead blast it off, glass blast it off. And if you have a, a cabinet, I'll link some media down below, the media that we use. We use glass beads, crushed glass. We also have aluminum oxide, but I don't think they have the brand that we use on Amazon. But I'll list it there for you guys. Um, but yeah, there's multiple ways you can do it. But the easiest way, assuming you don't have access to a bunch of power tools, you can use multi-etch or um, wink rust, rust and stain remover. And the process, we're doing a cold etch. So our cold etch is gonna be slower than, cause ours is diluted the way we have it all set up. Wink, like pure wink, if you don't dilute it, will be much quicker, a much quicker way to, to go. But personally, Richie and I prefer the finish that multi-etch leave. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna take our high voltage piece. We are going to submerge it into the etch and we're gonna let it sit and watch as the colors revert back. Okay, so there it goes and we'll wait. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick what's happening. So you can see that it is no longer that vibrant, bright fuchsia that it was a second ago. So this is gonna take a really long time because ours is di diluted. Um, but if you were using wink rust and stain remover, this, would, this process would be going a lot more quickly. All right, so let's go over everything that we have learned in this video. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, or at least different finishes will give you different colors, or in the sense, like different shades of the same color. So darker blast will give you a darker color. Bead blast will be muted, but not necessarily dark. Satin and polish will be the more vibrant finishes. So, um, and as well, if you want to remove an anno, if you have access to a buffing wheel, boom, That'll, that's a great way to go. Uh, a belt sander, but that's kind of sketchy. Um, blast cabinet, you could just bead blast it or glass blast it if you want to remove the anno. Or you can put it in an etchant, either a wink rust and stain remover or multi-etch. Wink rust and stain remover will be a much quicker process for removing the anodization, but uh, then multi-etch, multi-etch, because the way that we have it diluted, it's gonna take quite a long time. But as you saw, it is definitely removing the anno. So I hope this was informative, or at least you learned something new. And if not, thank you for watching, even though you knew all this information, I appreciate it. Uh, make sure to check the description box down below where you can find links uh, to buy whatever I've mentioned in this video. Also, if you uh, want to become a Patreon member, make sure to check the link down below. Um, it'll be there with also our email address and where to contact us if you want some mods done. 
All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.